is an exciting moment tonight. How's everybody doing? Well, welcome. Emerald Lagasse here. Welcome to Emerald Live. And have we got a really, really great show in store for you tonight. Woo! So exciting. Here, in my kitchen stadium, <laughs> a culinary battle will take place <laughs> in the spirit of friendly competition. I've invited a very good friend to meet and compete. It's going to be dueling walks tonight on Emerald Live. We got a really big show tonight. Give it up for Doc Gibson, the Emerald Live Band. Oh, yeah. Big. We're ready. Big, big, big. All right. Now it's time to meet the competition. You've seen him on PBS for years on his own cooking show. He's the author of countless cookbooks, including his newest. Chinatown cooking. Tonight, it's Bam versus Yan. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, on Yan. All right. How you doing there, friend? Now, you have a big band here. I cannot afford. This is Emerald Life. <laughs> Dead. When I'm in front of the live guy, I'm dead. But what do you do I, for a band? You know what? Yan can bam too. Okay. Ah, look at that. They have uh, given us first some trout. Well, that's how we... we and ate. they've given me some trout. So I think that uh, you should start your trout, and I'm... I'll deal with my trout. Why don't you do that? I start with my trout, and you sit there and watch I'll okay. do my trout so I can have a head start. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Oh, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to start by uh, making a little sake sauce. I'm going to uh, peel my garlic and crush my garlic first. Uh, a little more sake. Yeah. Sesame oil. Crush my garlic. Rice wine vinegar. Soy sauce. And I'm going to uh, peel my ginger. I'm going to use a little honey in here, too. So peel that's going to be ginger. the sauce. I've got ginger, too. <laughs> I'm using all this ginger. Now Would you like some? <laughs> I'm adding all the ginger in here. Actually... Green onions. Some mince. garlic. More ginger. Yeah. And mm. a little bit of... Uh, some cilantro. That's why they call Emerald Live. <laughs> it's alive. Now, this and looks then... like a good sauce. We'll eat that there. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, tie up some. Uh... Now, there's a fish. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing to your fish? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Since gonna... we're competing, why did you ask such questions? All right, all right. Don't I'm not. Ask. I'm not asking any more questions. I mean, I'm going to keep the secret. No more. I'm going to keep the secret. 
I'm scoring my trout. I am boning and filleting my trout. See, because you know, we got this little like this here, and we're gonna put a marinade on it is what we're gonna do. Okay? Slippery little suckers. <laughs> because you have a lousy fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? You know what? I told you, I changed the darn thing. <laughs> Originally, that slippery thing is over here. Uh, All this right, is how you win the do. competition. You sabotaged them. Put some onions. Now, you took my ginger, so I'll have to use some ginger here. <laughs> well, I'm a nice guy. Give it back to you. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I even do it for you. Well, I'm a nice guy. Ha! Give it to you. <laughs> All right. A little oil. You know, a lot of people don't realize that we're actually related. <laughs> that was our secret. Yes. I just put some orange juice on the fish. And uh, let's see what else we got beside a mess. <laughs> I learned that from you, you know. Some salt. <laughs> bam! <laughs> Yank and bam! What the heck? No, look! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we're gonna work on our trout when we come back. Martin Yan and I are gonna kick it up another notch. Stick around. <laughs> It's <laughs> dueling walks with my friend Martin Yan tonight. Don't even think about touching that dial. All right, here we go. We're still on the fish. You know why you're live? Why? Because your audience is alive. That's right. Yeah. yeah. They're alive. That's why you're alive. What do you got over here? You know what? You know why? You know why sometimes I'm not alive? Because I, I, I don't have a live audience. I have a dead audience. <laughs> I, have, I have images of audience. That's why they're not live. That's the reason why. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I think I'm ready. Are you You're ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right, here we go. I what? got some cornstarch that I'm going to put some essence in. I here. have some cornstarch here, too. And I love your essence, too. This is Ambrose's essence That's right, right here. That's right. Oh, boy. So you just go like that. Look. Yan! Hey, and a bam! <laughs> a yan can bam! Okay. Now <laughs> I got a little wok going on here and a little oil. And I have a little wok with a lot of oil. My okay. fish is going to get dredged. And I, I'm dredging already, so I'm ahead of you. Hmm. You're already pre-dredged. Yeah, I, no, actually, I'm dredging it now. Okay. You know, I use egg wash and also some flour mixed with cornstarch. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I dredge it on this side, on both sides. You see this? The whole thing is dredged. Okay. Beautiful. That fish looks sick. <laughs> What did you do to it? You know what? This is undressed fish. Okay. You know? This is more sexy. <laughs> than my fish here? Yeah. No. Is this is you... fully dressed. Fully dressed right here. This is uh, like a little swimming fish here. Okay. You see, I'm different this like this. I'm doing a wonderful pine cone fish. Pine cone? Pine cone, yes. All right. And then I coat this again. I coat it, dredge it with flour and cornstarch first, and then egg wash, and then once again, coat it again. Okay. okay. And My then fish I... is frying here. Need something to put on the fish, though. Hmm. Take some. Okay. And then I make sure this oil is hot enough, and then remove these. And then also, I fry this fish head. Fish head. I like the head and the tail. 
You got the head and the tail in there. Actually, I want to show quickly how easy it is to score the fish. 45 degree, 45 degree, 45, 45, 45, 45, and 45. And you go one, two, and three. So you have fish like this, little pine cone like this. Isn't that? Pine cone fish. This is pine cone fish. Very simple. When this is nice and done, we're going to make the sauce. A tiny bit of, ah, wine sake. Wine. Whoa! Yeah. And then, and then, oh, sorry. Ah, you, ah, you know, this is what you call sabotage. Help this is the person on this side, and you got it on the other side. Okay. This is vinegar. And then, I have some sugar. Yes, I measured this, bam, 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 yen, can, bam, too. Oh, and then, thank you so much. Cilantro. Anytime. And then I have some, we'll some nice too. sweet chili sauce. Oh, look at this. That's all I need. Oh. Can I use a little of this? Garlic, you can. garlic sauce. Just but a little I, bit. I will give little it bit to right you. Right in here, over here. One that's good, that's good. Mild lip. No, that's good. Hot lip. No lips. Whoa. No lips. I was going to put in a, a chili pepper in there. I can't no, anymore. Kind of a sesame no way. Oil. You want to stick around? Emerald life, no lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then my slightly. All right, let's see how this fish is looking. A tiny bit of cornstarch and water. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Not very sexy. Not. <laughs> Thinking my sauce. All right. Whoa. Whoa! It was that chili paste <laughs> stuck in here now. And then oh, this, this is, is good. This is done. Good. This is a long chopstick. I normally go to Chinatown. I would always bring this long chopstick. And this is your chopstick. <laughs> it is short like that. You know why? Because when it's short, you can never reach the food. <laughs> And that's what happened. Oh, All right, how's, how's your dish coming? Close? My, my dish is coming very, very strong. Tiny bit of this. Tiny okay. bit of extra sake. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Maybe more! Yeah. More! Yeah. And some of the more! All right, all right. You like some chives? You know, you know what? I love competition. That's the reason why, particularly friendly competition. You know what? That's we're not right. actually competing because we are doing something very exciting. And I'm going to, that's uh, my plate right here. Okay? Where the heck is my plate? <laughs> Surfing plate. Maybe there, under there. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, you know, sabotage. It's supposed <laughs> to be here. <laughs> oh, boy. I hit it. And then I make sure I pick this out. This is beautiful. The fish head is here. And the tail is here. And this is one of the pieces here. Mm -hmm. There's a pine cone here. Oh. Another pine cone here. Whoa. And then I shut this off. I shut this off. I shut this off. And this is the fish head. And this is the tail. And this. Is the sauce? <laughs> Good food take time to prepare. <laughs> ah.
Welcome back, everybody. Emeril Lagasse here with my very, very good friend, Martin Yan. Brand new book, just getting ready to hit, Martin Yan's Chinatown Cooking, which is actually tied into a show. Martin Yan's Chinatown. Around the world. Chinatown's all around the all world. All around the world, including New York, New York. That's right. Ah. I got to tell you, I thought it was 18. He just corrected me. 23 years PBS on television. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> 23 years. No, pe you know, people always ask me, Martin, how come you uh, come out of China to do the show? You know, the thing is, I'm smart because if I stay in China, there are too many Chinese cooks, I'll never find a job. <laughs> That's the reason why I come out of China. I love that. <laughs> and a brand new restaurant just opened in San Francisco. Yan Yan Can. can. Check it out. Yan can. Yan can cook for you. That's right. Absolutely. All right. We have just finished dueling fishes. We have dueling percussion going on over here. It's a dueling thing tonight. Some of the fishes are served. Now we're going to go to a chicken. Okay? I'm going to uh, jump start. I already cut up my chicken. Look at that. It's already cut up. I am ahead of time. <laughs> Try that. That's cheating. Try that. Go you know, ahead. You know what? You know what? Since I have no choice, I'm going to have to bone this. You already boned, so I'm going to Thank you. Make you sure cut I it really thin, too. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I learned it from my grandmother, how I bone the chicken. First, you got to relax the chicken. When the chicken is not relaxed, you cannot bone the darn chicken. So, so you relax the chicken. First, you go up and down. Huh? Wow. Never waste this time, oh. Uh, horizontal. And then you go like this, yeah. and then you wing it. Oh, huh? you wing and you go like that, and you go, ha! <laughs> And then, you know, the chicken is relaxed. Uh -huh. huh? When the chicken is relaxed, you know what? I can poke in 18 seconds. Oh, no, okay. come on. Three, two, time it. Okay. What? Where's your time? Okay, three, go. two, one, go. One, one cut, another cut, another cut. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, cut, hold on to this. Uh, this one, hold on, come around, hold on to this. Then cut, and hold on to this. This one, another cut, turn on, turn on, cut, and hold on to this. And then cut, last minute, turn ten, run. So, the cut, Fifteen. Okay. You know what? Now I can cut my chicken. All right, I'll take a little no. more if you got extra. Uh, this is a diet portion here. <clears throat> you oh. know what? Don't worry. I'm a generous guy. All right. I got some dried shrimp. These are very popular in Lu Louisiana. And also in Chinese cuisine. In Chinese very, cuisine. Very popular. I'm going to uh, just sort of bring them back, soaking them with a little bit of hot water like that. Okay? I'm taking my two ounces of chicken. <laughs> And I'm gonna two and a half, half ounces of two chicken. and a half ounces of chicken here in yeah. a little bowl. Give you another quarter ounce. Uh, three ounces now. I got a chicken. Now, that's all I need. <clears throat> Put a little garlic See, in I here. I told you I'm generous. And oh, then I'm yeah. gonna marinate first. I'm gonna transfer this from here to here. It's done. Some soy sauce. Oh, what I'm did you do? I missed. It. Okay, you okay? This is how I transfer food. <laughs> Turn around. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So fast. I'm not going to show, you know, I'm not going to share this to uh, with okay. you. Okay, all right. I see how you are. A tiny bit of oyster sauce. I got a little sake. A lot of fun. A lot of tiny bit of oyster sauce. Rice, vine, tiny vinegar. Of, uh, oh, bam. This is, Emerald. listen, I have Asian this bam is... here. This is Asian bam. You like some? No, I like this. I like yours. Five spice, than mine. black pepper. And this is... Emeralds, seven spices here. Okay, all right. Tenable salt, tenable Sesame oil. Starch. Make sure always use cornstarch. I had some uh, hoisin around, but oh, beautiful. Hmm. Make sure whenever I marinate, always put a tiny tiny bit of cornstarch to help the seal the juice. What are you doing? <laughs> Just adding a little bit of you hoisin. You get something of mine, I guess, over something here. of yours. Okay. What? But I'm bringing it back. Then I'll give it, it back. back to you. Bringing it back. Hey. Okay. All right. This is all nice and there. ready to cook. Now, in the meantime, get some. Gonna take some juice. vegetable oil. Actually, Martin, I think it was you that showed the Wong, our Wong brother friends, in Mandeville, yes. this trick. They showed me this trick recently, where you take vegetable oil and. 
crinkle the beans. Yes, this is all called dry fried beans. Yep, I'm just gonna wrinkle them. What, what happens is they sort of wrinkle. I don't wanna get a little color. We're just gonna wrinkle. You don't have any wrinkle on your face. That's the pork fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fry the beans. When Martin and, Martin and I come back, we're gonna finish this chicken dish. Dueling chicken, stick around. We'll be right back. Dueling chicken. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, shame on you. I'm Emeril Lagasse and my dear friend Martin Yan in the house. Dueling walks tonight. Kicked up. Yan Ken. Bam again. Yan Ken Bam. Bam Ken Yan. Yan, then right now. What are you doing chicken. now? Now right. we're chicken. Just join us. We did dueling fish first. We both had trout. Yes. He did a porcupine trout. I did a whole wok trout with a sauce. Yours now, I don't know what he's doing. Trout. Mine is our sensuous trout. Yeah. <laughs> now it's chicken. That's what we're doing here. We have no idea until, uh, well, we'll see what happens. What are you making? <laughs> what I'm are you not making? Gonna I'm doing some garnishing. I'm not going to show you. Garnishing. Right here. Look at the beautiful garnishing I just finished. That's really absence. terrific. Oh, uh, this is going to, we're going to serve the dish right here. I'm going to make one too. Watch this. Okay. Yeah. This is a garnish right here. You know How's what? that? You know what? I want to show you the garnishing. That sits. Huh? Now the garnishing sits. Okay. Ah. All right. We're going to keep that. <laughs> All right. Oh. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take my chicken here with my wok. I had my crispy green beans that are now crinkled. I am also doing my chicken. I dread it with about the cornstarch and some... Egg wash, yeah. and I pan fry this, and I pan fry this, and why I'm pan frying this? Whoa, sizzling wok. That's why you call ammo life. It's a sizzling. That's this right, sizzling wok. Look at that, huh? Live wok, dead wok. Yep. You oh, know God. what? I'm changing my dish. I'm throwing you a curveball here. And then we're gonna do some sauce, and this is plum sauce. I like to do. Plum sauce, whoa. Ah, you like plum sauce. A tiny bit of honey. I love honey. Honey, plum I'm sauce. Kicking it up another notch. I'm gonna add some chilies in here. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up two notches. Two One, notches. Two. <laughs> and then a tiny bit of water. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful. Then I got those dried shrimp that I drained. Lemon juice. Cashews. Tiny bit. Some Whoa. garlic. Yeah. You know what? You think you're the only one that use garlic? I use garlic too. One. And two. And I'm three. using more garlic. I just made a garlic chicken. Oh, this is so beautiful. And I turn around and I go, ha! Oh, ha! All right. And then, I think it's almost ready. Oh, that mine is almost ready, too. Yo, look at this. Just got to make sure the chicken's cooked. Of course. I want to make sure See, the right. chicken is still alive. Oh. Now. I think oh. we'll add this back in there. This is the sauce. Some sesame seeds. And then a tiny bit of nuts and sauce. You know what? I will what? show you. What? Huh. I'm gonna do some of these. I'm gonna slice it up. I'm gonna show everybody. It, not you. I'm gonna. Why not? I'm gonna see how. 
Sit, 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 sit. Huh? Ah! Come on, come. Look at this. All right. Huh? I'm going to add some right green here. onions in here. I'm going to add my Whoa. wrinkled beans. This is so beautiful. Mmm. All right. Huh. Okay. And this is almost ready. I'm going to so run this ready. So is almost ready now. Yes. Oh. 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 I'm going to put some sriracha oh. in here. Oh. Just a little bit more sake. Whoa. And more from you. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? What? How's that it's smell? It's not enough. <laughs> All Man, right. That would be good. That's good. How's it smelling in here? Ah, oh, smells great. <laughs> smells good. All right. We're almost ready. Oh. I got a this little is... bit of rice. Would you like some rice? Yeah. No. Sure. That's too much. <laughs> That's all I need. Okay. Right here. I gotta put this over here. Okay. Beautiful rice. Rice to the occasion. Okay. Always. How are oh. you? Almost. Almost. Me too. I'm in the last simmer here. In my last simmer here. Oh. This is beautiful. Okay. Tiny bit of sugar. Garlic chili chicken with Tiny wrinkled bit of beans. Emerald. Oh. oh! Okay. And my chicken. Oh, right I here. got chicken here, beans everywhere. Oh, chicken right here. Oh, oh. mercy. One more time, over. Huh? Oh. And okay, then. Okay, wait over here. Whoa. Bam, bam, bam! Whoa! Lemon chicken. Oh, you know what? I want to make sure. Have a yeah. bite real quick. <laughs> a little piece. Have a Twice. piece of chicken. <laughs> Great. Mm. Where'd he go? Oh. Yeah, I'm a... This is so good. How about this side? Yes? <laughs> All right. See, our side over here says, tastes good. <laughs> well, tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes very marvelous. Yeah. All right, folks. When Martin and I come back, we're going to take shrimp and kick it up. Another notch. Of course. joining us here, my special friend, buddy a long time, Martin Yan, his new book, Chinatown Cooking. Chinatown's all over the world. He went and visit. also has a new series on Food Network Canada. Is that right, Martin? Yes. And, and then now, also PBS in P uh, the U.S. PBS in the U.S. Shrimp. Yes. See, you were starting on the garnish already. No, all I right. didn't. I didn't. Well, what is that, a fort? This is for you. <laughs> yeah. You can start it. This is a great garnish, you see? It looks good. <laughs> This is for you. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to keep it right over here. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. All right, you got shrimp? I got shrimp. You got shrimp. I you got, got shrimp. shrimp. So and, uh, you got wok. I got wok. You got oil. I got oil. Okay. And you got pot. I got pot. Ready? And the only difference is you have a much better looking eyebrow than I do. <laughs> yeah. You know, most Chinese chefs, 
They don't have real eyebrow. This is not real. <laughs> this is real. This is real. That's definitely I real. I stay away from the flame. You know what? You know, I can't ever, I can never stay away from the flame. Okay. All right, so what I'm okay. going to do with uh, my shrimp here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some vinegar. Okay. And some garlic. Okay. And some sugar. Okay. In this little sauce pot. Right. Just now. to dissolve the sugar. And then what I did is I'm going to shell the shrimp because I want the, the tail intact. And then I butterfly this and devein this. This is veinous. I put it right here. It's good. Okay. Make sure. And I butterfly. Okay. okay. I'm going to take my shrimp here. I got a I couple of peel. Remove the, the vein. And what I did is I actually can go, look at this. I can twist this backward. And then you have a little rabbit. Ah? Huh? <laughs> All right. No, actually, it's a, a Chinese see? way of doing it. This is very easy to do. It's no big deal. Look at this. Huh? Well, I'm going to devein my shrimp with devein now. Here's what I'm going to do. It's all done. And I'm going to marinate this. Hmm. Marinate this. Hmm. I'm going to hmm. marinate it too. Hmm. Gonna, some celery, some onion. I'm going to marinate it with always with cornstarch. A little garlic. A tiny bit of garlic. And the essence of mm -hmm. my cousin. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. And a tiny bit of? So now I have hot vinegar. And I have cold vinegar here. Oh. This is done. Oh, boy, that looks good. That's cheating. Because this is a cordless food processor. Cordless food processor. Okay, this is basically marinade and get ready. <laughs> you know what? Now. You need a tiny bit of this. I, okay, and I've got this poison. Whoa, look at Don't worry, I have poison too. Okay. I'm gonna make Did the sauce. Did you marinate your shrimp? I am gonna marinate my shrimp, make the sauce, we'll have hoisin too. Hoisin sauce, actually, a barbecue sauce. That's right. And I, have I love it. One of my ketchup. favorites, man. Ketchup. Well, this is good. I'm gonna marinate my shrimp too. Watch this. Mm. I already did marinate my shrimp you already. Did? I'm gonna Four squeeze, hours ago. I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice on mine. Oh. A little lime juice. This is beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> Anything left over? Mm. Ha, he, hoo, ha, ha, ha. Ah. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna take this a little so cornstarch. Did you use cornstarch? Of course I use cornstarch. Cornstarch, a little salt, a oh. little flour. Beautiful. Instead of baby powder, I use cornstarch every day. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps me dry. Oh marvelous. Now I'm gonna take some of this that Asian blend of mine and on then the shrimp. <laughs> oh. You know what? Don't be shy. This is your stuff. This is Emerald's essence. More of yes. this. Take yes. Yes. Three notches. Yes. Now I'm going to take uh, marinated. The sauce is already one. done. <laughs> the sauce is done. My sauce is done. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm pulling out In the weapons. Back. I'm even use a tiny bit of. Huh. Watch this. Plum sauce too. <laughs> You're out of breath? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's rice noodle. That's rice noodle. That's beautiful. Are you, can, are you fry it? Puff up. Whoa, let All right, rise. when we come back, the doing marks will wrap it up. Wrap Stick up. around. <laughs>
And my very special guest tonight and dear friend, Martin Yan, everybody, huh? Yeah, yeah, bam, bam. All right, so uh, the dueling shrimp is about ready to take place. What are you making? You, uh, you know you, what? I have you... no idea. Okay. <laughs> because it's supposed to be spontaneous. All Actually, right. since you have shrimp, I have shrimp, you know, this now, again, this is all dressed up. This is, again, naked. <laughs> Huh? You're making naked shrimp. Of course. Okay. You know, the, the thing, what I did is I actually show people. Actually, if you want the tail intact, you start on this end. You just peel it, peel it, and the whole thing comes out like this. Mm -hmm. huh? And save this because the Thai people, they use it to make tang yum gong, hot and sour shrimp. And then I butterfly this because I want to devein this. And what are you doing anyway? Well, you what am I doing? Everything. I've got this, uh, this is like vein. katafi here. Remove. This is a... Uh, Filo dough that's in shreds, okay? And so I use the lime juice and then that flour so that it would kind of adhere to it. And what I do is I just take the shrimp and then I just I just sort of roll it like this, you see? And it's uh, a classic Thai dish. Yes. Very nice. Very popular, right? Very popular. And then popular. I'm gonna fry them in the wok. And I marinate my shrimp after I butterfly and I remove the vein and I butterfly. I better cut up some of these onion. I'm gonna dice some onion. My dish is almost done. Mine is, will be done just as fast as yours. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Now. People ask me, Martin, when you cut, how come you don't look? I purposely don't look. When I look, I get nervous. <laughs> now put it right here. I'm going to flip this over. Once again. See that? <laughs> and I better fry it again. One. Cut it up into little dice. I'm not going to be distracted by you. <laughs> Don't move around behind my back. All right. Oh, the way I like done. to eat these, take a little lettuce leaf. This is romaine. You could use bib lettuce is what I really like. That's why I told you to save it. You take a little of that hoisin that we made. I'm making some sauce here, too. This is a... Uh, Nice tomato sauce. A little Stir kimchi. Find my shrimp. Then you put the shrimp inside here, and you eat it like a little package. Okay. Well, we have more coming. Walk and roll. Huh? Walk and roll, huh? 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 You know what? This. It's live. This is dead. This is this, jumping. This is, this is dead. Really, You've got jumping shrimp. Jumping, sizzling. Sizzling shrimp. This looks really good. You I am proud of you, cousin. You are? I really... My, I, I am impressed. I really have learned a lot from you. I mean that sincerely. The only you truly time... are not only a dear friend, but a great chef. You know, you don't know how much I'm paying my cousin <laughs> to say this, okay? You know, Amber, I'll tell you. You know, last year, nobody know who is Yan Can Cook. When I say I'm Martin Yan, they say, Martin who? <laughs> then I get opportunity to work with you. And you know what? I was famous in China. <laughs> Ever seen, you want to be famous? Hang around this guy. <laughs> See, I like to do the shrimp like that and a little pickled veg. That's very nice. Just like and then that. I'm going to put some Spice, red bell pepper, yellow pepper, and also onion to make my sauce. And then this, when this is almost ready, always remember healthy cooking, okay? So what I did is I get rid of some of the extra oil. That's the reason why I've been doing healthy cooking for a long, long time. I just celebrated my 85th birthday. I look marvelous. <laughs> and I put the sauce right here. Whoa, and then now uh, this is unique. Uh -oh. I put a the tiny bit of this down. right here. The, whoa, you know what? This is a very unique dish, very unique dish. And then right before you serve, you put some pine nuts on top. Mm. Yeah. This is so unique. And when it's done. The count is down. You put down <laughs> right over here. Oh, look at that. Uh, and then I put this right over here. Uh, and then serve with some. Glazed walnut. Unbelievable. Glazed walnut. 
Huh? Unbelievable. Please one. And then, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Folks, it has been absolutely unbelievable. Martin Yan, everybody. Oh, oh, my bed. He's Martin Yan. I'm Emma Lugosi. He can bam. I can hey, bam. Yeah, can bam. That's right. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye,